Lord God, bless every person that's hearing this program today. In Jesus' name, you're hearing the program, Gain to Know Jesus. And my name is Harris Kakalidis. In today's program of Gain to Know Jesus, we will continue studying the Gospel of Mark. In today's program, we will look at what happened right after Jesus healed Peter's mother-in-law. Mark 1 verse 32-35 says, At evening, when the sun has set, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were demon-possessed, and the whole city gathered together at the door. Then he healed many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons. And he did not allow the demons to speak, because they knew him. Now, in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed. Matthew states on his account, When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed, and he cast out the spirits with a word, and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sickness. The prophecy which Matthew speaks about is that of Isaiah 53 verse 4, it says, Surely he has bore our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. Peter quotes this passage of Isaiah to mean, sin instead of sickness, 1 Peter 2.24, who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. If you wonder who is right, Matthew or Peter, I will say both, because of sin, men and women get sick and they die. So both Peter and Matthew are what they mention is right. Jesus both healed us from sickness and he heals us spiritually, making us conscious of our sins and provides the atonement by his blood to receive forgiveness of our sins and a place in heaven when we die and a place in the new heavens and new earth when all shall be made new. Now let's go back to... to reading the accounts. In Luke account it says this, Luke 4 verse 40 to 41, When the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on every one of them, and healed them. And the demons also came out of many, crying out and saying, You are the Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuking them, did not allow them to speak, for they knew that he was the Christ. No, it's the power of Jesus to heal everyone, everyone's sickness. Matthew states that Jesus cast out demons with a word. And like obedient soldiers, the demons left the bodies which they possessed. Look at the way how Luke describes the casting out of the demons. And the demons also came out of many crying and saying, You are the Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuking them, did not allow them to speak, for they knew that he was the Christ. And Mark states about these demons that he cast out many demons. And he did not allow the demons to speak because they knew him. They knew who Jesus was. They knew Jesus was the Creator. They knew Jesus was Emmanuel, God in the flesh. Where did these demons come from? According to Jewish tradition and early Christianity, they state the children of the angels who cohabited with the women in the time of Noah, their children became demons. You can read this in Antiquity of the Jews, Book 1, Chapter 3, Section 1. For many angels of God accompanied with women, and begat sons that proved unjust and despisers of all that was good, on account of 
the confidence they had in their own strength. For the tradition is that these men did what resembled the acts of those whom the Greeks called giants. Philos states in his writings on the giants, and when the angels of God saw the daughters of men, that they were beautiful, they took unto themselves wives of all of them, whom they chose, those being whom other philosophers call demons. Moses usually calls angels, and they are souls hovering in the air. The second apology of Justin states, But the angels transgress this appointment, and were captivated by the love of woman, and begat children who are those called demons. Now, Luke tells us the sun was setting, Matthew states, at evening. Mark tells us at evening when the sun has set. Th this event was started at the setting of the sun, and while the sun already had set it, it continued. Who was those that needed healing? It was the whole city according to Mark. And the whole city was gathered together at the door. Luke states, All those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to Jesus. Brought them to him. Matthew states, They brought to him many who were demon possessed. It doesn't matter what their condition was. Jesus had a cure, and he himself was a cure, not just of their physical need, but of their spiritual need as well. This is why the fact it shows about the demon possessed people, because they needed a spiritual healing. They didn't just need a physical healing, they needed a spiritual healing. They were tormented by demons. These children of the fallen angels was tormenting people and even now as we speak they are tormenting people now in many countries and even in Philadelphia you see many people with various demons I, a couple years ago I heard somebody speaking to me and, and their voice was like a multitude of voices in, in one which I had to rebuke those demons Demons are real, brothers and sisters. They're not some made-up stuff. When the Bible speaks about demons, it speaks about reality. It speaks about something as real as you and me. Notice also these passages of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. We see a difference from demon possession and sickness. A demon may cause a sickness, but not all sickness is a demon. If I go out on a cold day without a jacket and I get sick, I cannot blame a demon for my sickness, though he might have given me the idea to do it. In the case of Peter's mother-in-law, the sickness was rebuked. But it's not like that in all the occasions of people being sick. In many occasions, the Bible for sickness only mentions that Jesus healed them. And of course, in the case of demon possession, he expelled them. He rebuked them. With this, we'll, we'll end. God bless you, and I'll see you next program of Getting to Know Jesus, where we'll talk more about Jesus and the Gospel of Mark. Bye. If you enjoy this program, feel free to make a copy and give it to a friend, and that way they will get to know Jesus as well. Bye.